Okay, now that the program has updated, which if you'd seen the last video, I was getting an error message, and that was due to the fact that I had Dreamweaver open. So as soon as I closed it and hit the update button, it updated just fine. But now when we go into Windows, or the Window menu, you'll see that there's the database, bindings, and server behaviors. All of these, um, it, these are what that extension loaded for us. Um, so once you can see those, you are good to go. And I wanted to mention here that a lot of the videos and things that you'll see when talking about PHP and MySQL on different video platforms, they have, those programmers are not necessarily using Dreamweaver. Um, it's not one of the most used tool in the programming industry. Um, actually, most programmers use just a simple coding editor like Sublime Text or uh, Code, uh, Adobe Edge Code, which is actually brackets. Um, Adobe bought it out and then they stopped um, supporting it, but brackets is still existing and, and that's st is still being used. And actually, I really prefer using brackets over anything else. Um, you can still test and see all of your uh, pages that you're creating and it still connects to um, the, the database. It's just for whatever reason um, when using this Dreamweaver platform um, you need to have the database extensions added so that it's creating the proper um, information for the MySQL database. In the next video, we're going to look at how to connect our database.